Hi, this is Sandy Rusk with Sandy on the Scene, and we are in downtown Indianapolis this evening for the Fantasy 500 party in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the Indianapolis 500. There's a lot of celebrities in town this evening, and we're going to see who we can catch up with right here on our red carpet. Listen, Nicole and I have been all over the world, but we've never been on Sandy on the scene. I know. Now our life is complete. I we've know. Met Sandy. I know. So, Carlos, when did you get to Indianapolis? So, so, when did you get to Indianapolis? I got to Indianapolis on Thursday, but I love coming home. I love being back here. The people, the climate, everything. I love it. I, I, I would love to move back here. Uh, I'm so happy to be from Greenwood, Indiana, and it's just a great, great place to be, you know? Yeah, you, did you check in with your buddies over there at uh, WCPL? I do. That's where my career started, and I still do stuff with WCPL. Dave Smiley right now is camping out of the track. If you think Dave is weird on the radio, he's twice as weird in person. Yes, he's I a, bet him too. He's a very unique individual, and I love him. I love Dave. But it's just great to be here, and it's great to be at the Fantasy 500 party, and I'm just looking to have a good time tonight. So what are you looking forward to most this evening? Well, we're, I got 33 500 festival princesses in there. They're my dates, and then, of course, Nicole is my life partner. So, so we're going to have a good time tonight. Well, definitely. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to stop and chat with me, and I'm sure we'll see you inside. I gotta say, Sandy on the scene. Well, it's so nice to see you back in Indianapolis, Kat. It is so nice to be home. I love, love, love coming home every chance I can get. When did you arrive? I took a red eye from Los Angeles last night and got here early this morning and have been hanging with family and now the fun begins. The fun does begin. Um, you know, earlier I was thinking back uh, when you were on Fox 59 News and your segment was Where's Cat At, right? Cat's Where It's At. Cat's Where It's At. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had it, I had it wrong. But tell me, you know, it's, how's it been going from, you know, starting here in Indianapolis and being out there on the Daily 10 and E? Just kind of tell me a little bit about that. I've been six years now in Los Angeles, and um, it's been amazing. I loved working here locally at Fox 59, and I had great, great years on live television doing a morning show, but it's fun. In Los Angeles, you know, I'm interviewing some of the greats, you know, Johnny Depp, Clint Eastwood, Martin Scorsese, so it's, it's a good life, a good job, a good career. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. How exciting, and also you intermix that with being a mom. Yes, I know. Um, you know, it's, it's about balance. I have two, two beautiful boys, and because I've worked in television for more than a decade now, I roll into work at 10 every day. I'm done by 4 every day, so I'm still packing lunches and getting my kids to school and still for dinner every night. It's the ideal life. It definitely is. So what are you excited about tonight? You know what? I have about 20 or 30 really good friends that I haven't seen in years in there waiting for me. So Indiana's in my blood, and I just, coming home, I'm just so proud. Like, people in Hollywood tease me all the time because I'm like, Indiana this, and I'm a Hoosier that. They're like, we get it, you're from Indiana. But this, these are my roots, these are my people, and I'm just happy to be here. A homecoming, right? It is a homecoming, it's great. Well, Kat, thank you so much for joining me here on Sandy on the Scene, and I know you're gonna have a great time this weekend while you're here. A great time to be had, Sandy on the Scene. She's on the scene. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Well, it's a nice evening, right? It is. It's a good celebration uh, in anticipation of the 100th anniversary of the race, of the first race. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, you said you were doing something earlier, and your look is a little different now? Uh, it is a little different now. We've got the snake pit ball. You know, some people kind of do the do-rag and sunglasses, and a lot of people doing that sort of thing. So, But uh, we took them off coming over here. Well, you definitely cleaned up nicely. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So what do you think about tonight's event here at the Columbia Club? It's a little bit different than what you're used to, right? Uh, it is. It's a little younger crowd. Uh, and I, I, It's good that they're having fun, though. I, I appreciate the fact that they're having fun. And the, you know, the 500 and the 500 Festival continue to really to put together events and, 
and the sponsors come out and do things and really make it fun for the city. Well, this being the 100th anniversary of the Indianapolis 500, what, what does that mean to the city? Well, it's really, I hope people understand it's really a, a cultural part of the city at this point in time. I don't think there's any question about that. They have a huge economic impact, but everybody. this is about the month of May. It's not just about the race. The race is obviously the culmination of it, but there's so many events surrounding it that really characterize who Indianapolis is. And that's the, that's the part that makes it very special for me. And do you really feel that it grows and changes each year? I, th I think it does. I think it'll change again next year when the new aero kits come out for the cars. But um, So I, I, it's always very special. This will be the 100th anniversary. You know, what I also like is that the Speedway and the 500 Festival never forget that this is wrapped around Memorial Day. There's always a lot of great events uh, to, to mem uh, remember those who did not come back. Absolutely. It's more than just a party for the 500, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We had uh, a, a mo very moving event on the circle yesterday. We had another great event today at the World War Memorial. So people have not forgotten these, you know, despite the, despite the people having a good time and everything, the city of Indianapolis has never forgotten what this is really about. Well, definitely, we're here for this great event tonight, and I think everyone's going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of celebrities here, and sure. the city's just kind of pumped up. It does bump up, and it, uh, it's good to do, be doing this, obviously. Uh, I, I really li like it when people go out and have fun, because that's really uh, important, especially surrounding a, a great event like the 100th anniversary, and this will be a good prelude to the Super Bowl next year, too. Well, definitely. And, uh, you know, it's so nice when we run into each other. We do occasionally. Uh, and thanks again for joining me here on Sandy on the Scene. Well, it's great, great to be here. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. And I caught up with Christina Millian. Hi. Hello. How are you? It's so nice to see you here in Indianapolis. What do you think about the event tonight? Oh, well, I think the event's going to be a lot of fun. I'm heading in there right now, and I actually got a little glimpse. Of, well, actually, I heard a little from the outside. It sounds wild in there. So it is I'm definitely wild in there. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to getting in there and ho hosting this party tonight. It's going to be great. Now, of course, this is the 100th anniversary of the Indianapolis 500, and so lots of special things are going on. Yes. And, and are you a regular, too, coming to the city for the event? No, you know what? This is my first time, but I have a feeling after this I'm going to be a regular. I hear everybody, once they come here one time to party for the for Indy 500 that it's like a permanent fixture every Memorial Day weekend so I will be here I'm sure next week next year not next week but next year well you know my daughter she's 14 and she was really disappointed that she couldn't be here tonight to meet you because she loves your music oh well tell her thank you Tell her thank you. I mean, I wish I would have gotten to meet her too. I'm sorry, but tell her thank you so much. And of course, you're an actress, and you've been in just tons and tons of projects. But what's coming up? Well, I'm currently working on my new album right now. Um, I'm really excited. It's through Interscope Records, and the process is going amazing. I'm really excited about the new the new stuff that I'm, I'm creating right now. And then I have a, um, a show that I'm actually going to be producing, and we're negotiating right now and starting it. So, um, you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that all the negotiations go well, and you'll be seeing me on TV acting and singing really is, soon. Is there anything you can share about that? What type of show it might be? It will be, a, um, it's a sitcom, but not like, like, ha ha ha, drum roll sing, <laughs> like, make them laugh, but it's kind of similar to like, who's the boss and the nanny, but in like a more of a natural kind of way, you know, I'm, when it comes to comedy for me, I'm a really goofy person, but I like the naturalness of it and not to have to like put on a show. Well, that's awesome. We'll definitely be looking for it. And I know you got people waiting for you. They're kind of tugging at you already. But yeah. it was so great of you to stop and chat with me here on Sandy on the Sea. Thank you, Sandy. I had a great time. So in love with this music. Whatever. And I happen to run into Lisa Miller and Ian. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you, Sandy? I'm really good. Now, Lisa, your company that you're involved with is Cheeky Couture. Yes, Cheeky Couture. It's not just jewelry. It's a way of life. We always tell everybody to get their cheeky on because that's what we're all about. And you style everyone. Tell me about it. Well, we have styled for Bernie Martin, which Ian has also been a part of, Midwest Fashion Week yes. and Indianapolis Fashion Collective. And we've done for the Sachika Twins out of New York. We've also done uh, Rock the Runway, BET. So we just, we're a little bit of everywhere. We've got about 35 locations now. 
35 locations? Well, you guys have grown a lot since I've, I saw you last. Yes, yeah, and we're, we're still growing. Our plan is to go nationwide, so. Oh, awesome. Ian, I want to come back to you, and you were telling me a little bit earlier about your nonprofit that you're a part of now. Yeah, yeah, the Indianapolis Fashion Collective, which Cheeky is a member. You know, we're all about growing the industry here in uh, Indianapolis, and this is, the race weekend is really a chance for Indianapolis to shine on a national level, and the spotlight is here, so, you know, you got to take advantage when people are watching. And what is the whole purpose of the organization? Well, we sort of network and grow uh, fashion organizations here in town. You know, it's all about networking and getting together with other people, bouncing ideas off each other, and just collectively growing, you know? I see, and you said it's a nonprofit, so tell me a little bit more about that side of it. It is a nonprofit. You can check us out at IndianapolisFashion.org. We would appreciate any support. But yeah, you can go out there, check a list of our members, see what we're all about. We also keep a comprehensive calendar of events coming up here in town. So, you know, if you want to check, hang out, check out a fashion show, which we had a great one here tonight. Yes. And, uh, you, can, uh, you can go there, check out, and see what's coming up on the calendar. Well, I'm sure we're going to be running into each other again because we always do. And thank you guys for taking the time to join me here on Sandy on the Scene. Well, thank you for having us. Of course, Sandy. Anything for you. It's always fun, right? <laughs> about to worry about getting a day. I've had a chance to meet some exciting people, but you know what? I think I'm going to go join the party.